uh, uh, Flow Arena account and you come to the Arena page, uh, you'll get uh, you'll have your uh, account information here, your dashboard, and you can create events. So first, we're going to go to the dashboard, click on that, and it will take you to your dashboard. And here it'll show you uh, what you've registered for as a register registrant or a parent. Open that up, and your events that you're administrator of, so tournaments that you're running. And then lastly, uh, coach. And coach is what we're going to talk about right now. Here you can see uh, on your, your coach's dashboard uh, the teams that you are a coach of. Uh, and if that's blank, that's because you're brand new. You have an added a team. So you click here, add a team, enter the information for that team, uh, team name, abbreviation, which is changeable all over the place. Uh, what type of team, junior high, middle school, high school, etc., etc., etc. If you type in the location, so for example, if I type in Lafayette High School, it'll actually pull from Google and fill in the rest of that information. So as long as it, there's a physical address uh, and it can search that on uh, Google, it'll fill that in. And then when you're all done, save it. I'm going to cancel. And you'll have that uh, listed right here. So, for example, go ahead and choose Lafayette. Changes all that information. Those are the details. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on this next tab, roster. This is your basic roster. So you can add all your athletes to this. Um, obviously, click the Add Athlete. Fill in their basic information, age, date, year, graduation, zip code, yada, yada, yada. And when you save that, it will enter a new, or have it put a new entry into your roster. Um, something you can do is, uh, so if you have specifically um, a girls roster, you can select your girls. And one more, two more. And we'll save that roster. It's a new roster, and we're going to call it uh, Girls Team. Save that, and now there's my Girls Team, there's my 2018 team, and there's all of my athletes. Uh, so that's how you uh, build your initial roster. And the next thing I'm going to go to is Calendar. Not really sure what good the calendar is for, other than just to see the events that you've uh, uh, entered into, or that you're when you're administrating them, they show up here. Uh, when you've entered into them, they show up here. Things like that. Uh, the results email. So when a tournament ends, uh, the system will send you an email with the results, and you just put in who you want to receive those uh, emails, and you can add uh, an email and a, a name and an email address. And then when you save it, it'll be listed. And finally, security. So the security tab is who has access to the coach's dashboard. So right now, it's just me. And if I add a user, which is a good idea to have at least two coaches on there so that uh, if there's a uh, turnover, one coach leaves, another coach can continue uh, editing and changing and uh, enrolling in tournaments and adding other users with access. So you add a user and again it's just an email address and uh, you can grant the access and what it'll do is send an email, an invite to those people and uh, invite them to uh, become uh, it, uh, register on Flow and when they do it'll add them to uh, the security tab and they will have access to this team. If somebody goes in and say you uh, a different email is added to the invited uh, teams on a tournament and they go to try to access it, they might get a another coach has administrative access to this team, click here to request and when that happens that person will be listed right here and you can see uh, the name and the email address and if that's somebody who should be administering the team, you approve them. If it 
you have no idea who that is, they're from a different country, uh, you can deny it. And then once you've got, uh, once you've uh, been here and done this, you can uh, go on to add to your tournament. Um, if you've uh, just started with the registration for a tournament, uh, when you come back into here, uh, those names will be listed in this roster. Uh, one important thing, um, this roster does not necessarily mean that you've uh, registered for a tournament, so you'll need to go to the registration link in the email you got to register for that tournament and adjust your, your roster for that tournament.